Hey, my name is Zach, and I wanted to show you how to make a website header in Adobe Elements. Now we have a website header here, and I really like motorcycles, so I'm going to grab a picture of my motorcycle. Go to computer, desktop, and there's a picture of my motorcycle. So we'll click and drag it here. Now as you can see, it opened up a new document. All I'm going to do is highlight and copy and paste it. Let's crop it first. We'll go to crop, and you can drag out any size box you want. And let's just put this where we want it to be cropped. We'll say right about there and hit the check mark. Now we're going to hit Control A, Control X, go to my website header, and Control V. Now, as you can see, it's still awfully large. So we're going to hit Control T to transform and just drag it down. Now you may see it is pixelated through here, but don't worry, once you hit the check button, you'll be good to go, as you can see here. Now, what are we going to do in this space over here? We're actually going to go to our cloning tool. So with the clone tool, we're going to hit Alt and then click. And now, as you can see, I have a crosshair and I'm painting the grass. And we'll do it again. Alt click. And now my crosshair is in a different area. But it blends it together almost seamlessly. And we'll do Alt click again. But you want to be careful that you don't do something like I just did. I'm going to hit Control Z and take that back. You don't want the spots to look the exact same. So try using a different area. We'll hit Alt click again and keep painting the grass. Now it is a long and tedious process, so I'm going to stop right here and just show you how to color the pavement. So I'll hit Control A again. I'm sorry. So I'll hit Alt, click again, and we will paint in the pavement. And anytime you don't have your crosshairs there, all we have to do is Alt, click again. Now, just for time purposes, I'm going to crop this photo down. We'll just draw a box around what we have done and hit check. Now we can use text and we'll say my site and let's make that bigger. Make sure it's highlighted when you try to upsize it. And we can hit check and move it right around. And as you can see, we now have a website header. My name is Zach, and I just showed you how to make a website header in Adobe Photoshop Elements. Thanks for watching.